Hey YouTubers, it's me, Unique Lady 212. Um, this is gonna be a plus size video for my ladies out there who are plus size women, of course. Um, it's about being confident um, in ourselves about who we are inside and everything like that. So, just want to give a couple of tips and uh, a couple of things that I do or have started doing, or I'm I've heard that these you know might work for us, some of us women. I don't know why my camera is acting like that. Anyway, um, step one would be positive thinking. I feel that a lot of times we think negative thoughts. So on the outside, we put action to those negative thoughts. So we uh, actually don't even care about what we look on. Those negative thoughts are coming to our head. And we let other people say in our head. And we let society say what we feel, what they feel is normal or how a woman should look. And basically, uh, the type that they say a woman should be is like white, thin, and able body and pretty. And I know this is kind of, <laughs> seems like it's leaning on the feminist level, but it's true. Um, we can't let society say what we should be or how we should look. Like, if they say, like, if you're big, then a big girl can't look pretty. We all know that's not true because we big ladies out there who are models, plus size women, not big ladies, my bad, plus size women who are models out there who look gorgeous and beautiful and can work it, you know what I'm saying, we all know uh, some type of woman out there that is beautiful as a plus size woman and she makes herself look good, so first I believe it just starts with your positive thinking, get positive thinking into your head, because if you don't think positive about yourself, it will show on the outside, now if you feel good on the inside and you know you look gorgeous, and you know there are some things you can tweak and make look even better than what they are, then do that because that will show your positiveness on the outside. Feel good on the outside, you'll feel good on the inside too. So we need to work with our appearance sometimes because sometimes when we when we uh, dress down, we know and we people can tell the oh inside in her mind she's not really there. She's not happy about something about herself. You know what I'm saying? When you dress down, something is just wrong. So. Uh, I'm not saying you have to dress up all the time, but, because I know I don't, um, trust me, I don't, it's just, you just feel like, ugh, I don't feel like doing anything, that type of, not, not like a, no confidence at all, it's just that type of day where you feel like, ugh, I don't want to do this, whatever, so anyway, moving on to the next one, um, you don't have to like, if you don't like the way you look, then try and change it, and by that, what I mean, not, I don't mean that, you should go from fat to skinny. Okay, I'm not saying that. I don't want to be skinny because I know my head wouldn't look right on my body if I was skinny. So, <laughs> I mean, and plus, I'm embracing my curves. You know, a lot of women who aren't our size want to be our size. They want to have big breasts or they want to have a big booty and curves and all this stuff. They want those things as well. And we have them. And we are just so, like... We feel so down because of what everybody say about big women. Well, they are not living your life, you know. They're not going to be the ones that, that is laying down with your thoughts at night, you know. You are you. So, if you do not like the way you look, change it. And so, some tips with that, I guess. Um, you can start with changing your out your appearance, okay. And by I mean appearance, like, you know, we don't all have to put on makeup. That's not true because I don't always put on makeup. Most of us look gorgeous without makeup. But here and there, I know I put on, like, eyeliner and maybe some eyeshadow on there and some lipstick sometimes and um, earrings. Freshen up a little bit up here or whatever. Just, I don't know, just do something that's going to make you feel pretty. And a lot of times we're just, I guess we're just afraid of looking good because we feel like we're going to overdo it and people are going to be staring at us. Of course people are going to stare at you because they, they are so used to seeing plus size women not feeling beautiful about themselves. They're just used to women looking like, well, I have to just wear a long t-shirt and jeans and not be cute. That is not true, ladies. We can dress up and look beautiful, okay? That's what I mean from changing your, not going from fat to skinny, but just changing your appearance, like, change what you wear. We have some issues with uh, financial issues where we can't just go and buy everything at once. I'm not saying that because I don't buy everything at once. But uh, what I do do is when I do get some money, 
I'll go get one of these things that I feel that can, you know, add to my wardrobe or go get this one piece of jewelry that will add to my wardrobe or something like that. You know, I'm not just going to just be like, okay, that's, I'm not going to do it because I don't have the money to get all that. It's not about you having the money at all at the whole time. It's about getting it here and there and pieces. Like, say for this week, you'll say, okay, um, I'm going to buy a earring and necklace set or whatever. That's like, I don't know, $10 or something from Walmart or whatever. Costume jewelry, basically. And then two weeks later, you say, okay, back to Walmart or to wherever or to the thrift store and get a blazer um that's like four dollars or something you know stuff like that just come right there you just spread out your money nobody really has the money to um to just spend all at once you know to have something for later so we know that's not true um uh, excuse me the next thing I have to say is also dealing with you know looking at yourself, changing yourself, if you don't like what you look like, changing, is your health. Now, some of us think that we need to be skinny to be healthy because not all skinny people is healthy. We know that. And a lot of times, they can be the one. Sometimes, I mean, I'm not just I'm not just trying to get on y'all skinny girls out there. Don't think that. I'm saying. Sometimes skinny girls have those negative thoughts just like we do at times. And they could be like, oh, I'm so fat when they're really not. Or they could be like, I'm so skinny and I can't gain weight. And they just don't like who they are. And sometimes, like we are, we just don't like who we are. And I'm sorry, I'm getting sick. And so what I'm going to say is that, you know, for us to be healthy, we need to do a little something. I'm not saying go be a workaholic. I mean, a, a exercise workaholic or whatever. <laughs> Excuse me. I'm not saying go be an exercise, exercise worker, workaholic. I'm so sorry. Or whatever. But uh, just do some workouts here and then join like a group or something. You know, like a dance group or something that makes you happy. Or go swimming or whatever. Or go walking. Just go walking down the street or something. You know, um, just go walk around. You know, here just to get some, your, your, heart rate, your heart rate pumping a little bit. You know, lose a couple of calories. Now, I'm going to eat next. Now, a lot of us feel that. Um, I know I felt this way that I have to eat salad every day. I have to eat all my vegetables every day. I have to do all this. Da, 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 da. That is not true. I think the way to just, for you to uh, be, not to have to be cautious of everything you're eating, like calories, da, 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 all that stuff. That's important, but you know how the meal is set up. Your wheat, your vegetables, your meat. You know, whatever. And you can also have some dessert as well. So I feel that, um, say you're going out, say you go out to eat a lot of times, you don't really cook. Okay. In moderation. Sorry. <sighs> Sorry. Eat in moderation, okay? Um, I know that it's hard for me because I don't really eat meals. I eat, like, snacks. I love to snack all the time. And I should be making meals, you know, and I don't. I just snack all the time and all this craziness. Um, that is not healthy eating. Okay, I should be like eating all um, my protein, all my vegetables, all this, you know, whatever. Um, my, my weeds, whatever. Go and catch a cal- No, I don't even look at that stuff. My mama tried to get me to do that when I was younger. I hated that. I'm like, I'm not finna be driving myself insane on trying to count some calories. No, that's not me. If I see that it's is a healthy food like a vegetable or something? I will get it. If I see that it is uh, wheat bread instead of white bread, then I will get it. Sometimes, not all the time, because white bread is good. Okay, uh, even though there's no goodness that come out of it. <gasps> sorry, sorry, you guys. Okay, so next step is with that after the eating and exercise thing. You want to have support. Have a friend that is uh, or has experience what you're going through, like. Um, issues with your looks or, you know, trying to look beautiful, you know, while being a plus size woman or, you know, doing those healthy things, even though you're not, we're not saying get skinny or whatever, but just being healthy for your, your sake, you know, um, 
get a friend, a support system going on, like a big girl, you know, one of your plus size friends be like, hey girl, um, can you go walk with me and discuss some of the challenges that you're going through, maybe they can help you out, maybe you can help each other out, you know, just to confide in each other how you feel, because I know how it is, I, when I was growing up, I really didn't have anybody to talk to about being a plus size, like the only thing that people talk to me about being plus size is losing the weight and being small and skinny and healthy that's all I got from everybody and healthy is good you know you're supposed to be healthy but the part where yo you need to you need to lose weight you need to like go down you need like use 40 pounds like you need to exercise every freaking day just so you can get skinny and another all this craziness like I didn't have a support I didn't have somebody there with me saying girl it's you know it's gonna be all right just take it step by step you know you don't have to get skinny to be healthy I didn't have anybody telling me that or I didn't have anybody saying just eat in moderation and you'll be fine you know all this other stuff I didn't have nobody telling me that. And so, um, I just feel that now we have so much more support online communities and online communities where there are plus size women where we talk about all the challenges we have and all this great stuff or some fashion tips. I know where you can get some fashion tips and some confidence. Um, on YouTube, there's this channel called Hello Style Channel, and they have many playlists, but the one playlist that will probably, you know, work for us because I haven't seen the other ones it's, it's just that it's called Big Girl in a Skinny World then they have their episodes so just scroll down on their page it's Hello Style Channel I'll try to put the link on here or whatever I can do or in in the comp or in the little description box or whatever down there um so yeah look up um support online communities because I'm pretty sure what you have been through and thinking about another plus size woman has been through and thought about and has overcome it some kind of way or done whatever they could. Um, I just ask that you guys be confident. You know, sh stretch your stuff. You know, that the world know that, hey, I might be plus size, but I am still beautiful, okay? I can be beautiful. You know, just show the world how confident you are. Don't let them, they are not affecting you anymore. That what they say we should be is not affecting you anymore because we are women and we are beautiful as plus size women okay and uh this is the end of my video i really hope y'all enjoyed it i'm sorry that it's like 14 minutes long or something whatever or 12 minutes um and i just hope y'all have a good sorry i just hope you have a good day and uh, leave me a comment or whatever, a video response, something like that. And let me know. You can like it. I don't care. You can un you can not like it. You can subscribe. You don't have to subscribe. It don't matter to me. I don't care. I'm not getting paid for no channel, so <laughs> I really don't care about that stuff. But, yeah, let me know what y'all guys think. And have a beautiful day. Mwah.